Dear Diary, 26th of July 2018. Night time. Shocking new truth I have discovered within myself today. Um, shocking, it's about my identity mainly about my physical body so I at once thought that God <laughs> made the sperm that impregnated the egg in my mother aka Immaculate Conception I know that to be not the case that is not the truth. I discovered this truth and there have been signs nagging at me for quite a long time that this was what it was. And it does get a bit personal and um, so I'm going to not go there um, I think I don't need to go there so did I invent this sort of idea that I was special in my physical body and I know that much now to be wrong that my physical body is a made up of a bloke and a woman my genetics all come from that My circumstance, though, is still unique as everybody's is. And so it doesn't completely rule out me being like the Christ. But it certainly does <laughs> make me reflect upon it. And something that came up was when I felt that I was the Christ for the first time, I thought about how, oh, knowing my purpose and stuff like that. And I've had some feelings that that is wrong too, so, you know, what more purpose do I need than to just be me? But I guess, you know, we all do want purpose, and perhaps for that period of time in which I believed this it was necessary, I'm still not totally um, thought through this, it's kind of just a revelation I had about an hour ago but in my typical fashion I like to get it out fresh um, and it did occur to me during this meditation that uh, it may be mainly psychiatrists who are following my <laughs> videos and, and watching and perhaps not as faithful as I had imagined. Perhaps a bit of both. Because, yeah, so for somebody else to look at me they'd be able to see uh, it's just a physical makeup of a bloke and a woman you know here he is saying he's the Christ he's obviously got a messiah complex and I think I was feeling the truth of some of that how I was allowing just that thought just thinking I am the one and that was giving me you know a buzz and that was like an addiction in a way, like a slow little sort of perk, perk.
perk me up. But it affected, affected a lot of things in the sense that in meditation I was, it was motivating me to do things like I had thought, you know, should I go out and shout about it and and stuff like that, go down to Speaker's Corner or something in London and, you know, or, you know, what should I, you know, and obviously I've been doing things online so I have been making an effort to do that. But I came around to thinking that what's God given me, lots of spare time, <laughs> peace and quiet, sit and meditate. And so, you know, I'm still sort of, well, yeah, so that, you know, circumstances. Uh, and, and God, I did get a feeling from God at that point saying, you know, I was thinking, then, what was the point? What have I been doing? Has anything I've been doing in meditation had any effect whatsoever? And I did sort of get a feeling from God, a whisper from God, bringing God to the earth or you know someone experiencing God on earth does have an effect um, so if I hadn't believed that I was the Christ would I have had the motivation and the determination and the you know just the you know oh let's sit down and do just sit there for 12 hours in the day with breaks <laughs> um, and no I probably wouldn't have done or maybe I would have done I don't know I can't know that it is what it is and it's been what it's been so for that period of time I've experienced that feeling and it hasn't completely gone away to be honest um, like but it is getting questioned it is getting questioned it's, and in a sense like because I've got this been dealing with this pain in my feet through meditating and sometimes it I can go through it and just now, earlier, was one of the times when I've been able to go through some very intense pain. And I say go through it. It was as I was making those connections and feeling a feeling that the pain was moving. So, and it's, it's pain, I mean, it's, it's difficult to describe feelings anyway. But it was like... So this, you know, it's one of the ways God is letting me know this is the communication through feelings, through the soul, you know, error. This is, and, it, and it's error that, you know, you haven't been thinking about, so it, it kind of gets suppressed, it gets pushed away. But also with me, the personal thing that I don't want to go into just yet, if at all, is that... You know, it affects my identity, who I am. Because I was, and so this is the negative thing in the meditation, is sometimes I'd sit down and think, well look, I'm, I'm like heart, I'm like the son of man, I'm like, you know, son of Adam, or Adam, was made by God, made by God, right? Designed by God, you know, put together, that's, that's how it is, that's like a perfect human being. And then as generations have gone on and gone into error that genetics has changed and stuff mostly got worse. So I was sitting down to meditate thinking half of me is made up of that and, you know, should I be able to levitate or turn into light or, you know... Should that be something I'm supposed to do? And in a sense, and it was always m my will. I wanted to get my way. I envisioned it like this. Yeah, this is it. This is what I'll go for. And and I was seeing the error of that in the meditation earlier. You know, the my way thing goes back like 
I was getting memories of being about two or three, you know, kind of new senses. Memory, I sort of been down there before and touched on that, but like new aspects of it and stuff. The, the TV coming in, you know, that was... And you see when a baby sees a TV, it's like, oh, you know, it's amazing, isn't it? Like, and I was getting some of the senses of that. So, and understanding myself, knowing me self a bit more, or knowing a, another truth about myself, was um, uh, <laughs> shocking and therefore helpful. You know, I feel like. You know, apart from the world, the world stuff is kind of going okay. You know, it's sort of um, like a roller coaster a bit in a sense. One moment you think, oh yeah, good, you're like we're nearly there, and then oh fuck, there's still problems with this. And anyway, again, again, and yeah, and just remember that God wants what's best for everyone, and God absolutely loves everybody the same and loves me no more than anybody else and no less than anybody else and and we're all kind of going through stuff and you know, the other thing I probably realised is my age you know like this is you know, something I always do is think, well, everybody must be feeling like this. I'm feeling like this. Everybody must be feeling like this. But I've also thought, well, I don't know. People hit different age things at different times. But, well, yeah, I'm coming up um, 42, which is a multiple of seven. So, always through my life at those multiples have been quite good. But after a... Uh, after a bit of a harsh period, in a sense. But when I was feeling like, yeah, I'm a normal bloke, you know, it felt good, sort of a normal brother. And it also means, you know, that whatever I have been doing in meditation and it's kept me going, I mean it's fun, it is fun I mean more than fun, it's it's very fulfilling and that's one of the things that got me to get through this time I wanted that feeling of fulfilment, you know why else, am I, why am I, you know, I was, I was motivated when you get motivated and I was a bit inspired by other people and yeah And I've got to, I've got to think about other people a bit more, probably a lot more, and how I shouldn't always have to have things my way, because I am sneaky, I act like, you know, I act like I probably care, <laughs> and I, most of the time I probably quite easily cannot care, I probably don't have massive difficulty with that. I'm quite optimistic about other people probably probably be like, oh they'll be alright. I don't know. Not always. Not always. Obviously I think a lot about my son, I mean feel responsible in that case. So again, you know me in my way and that that's one of the things it goes so back back so far. Probably when I was being torn away from the telly. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so a lot of revelations coming in. I'm I'm not gonna talk about that yet. I mean I think probably, I don't know what I mean anyway. Geniality. <clears throat> so.
So, uh, <laughs> so I guess I'll. Uh, I won't update on it. Probably just want this feeling of talking. Talking, yeah. But it will also make me have a look at all of the truths I feel I've discovered. Um, I mean, it's interesting anyway. I hope, you know, the only authority I talk with, and okay, so before maybe I had this little air of I'm in a special body and that's the reason I can do this. I think, you know, it's, I've always believed it's something we, we'd always be able to do and I said we could all do it when we were babies but, and then I was like, but how come I was the one that didn't, you know, that didn't go away from it, went back and, and perhaps there are tons of people who've had the feelings I've had. But if the truths I've discovered are true, I think I think they are. I had a I had one that I didn't I had one recently that I haven't <laughs> shared. So, but it was getting so complicated to explain it because what I'm finding is that the stuff that's happening on the soul level is multi-dimensional so you can have the one love in you but you can also have something else in you and you can also just do you know what I mean so you could be different you can have different um, modes should we call it that like zooming in or maybe it's like that you know you zoom in to a certain point of the soul and this is what you experience and then you could zoom out a bit and then you kind of experience something else and so, all right so the male female thing so another analogy is that the female soul is inside the male soul. The male soul is like the white light. So you could think of it in a sense on the earth when it's daytime. The reason everything's kind of light, everything's white, is because of the, the, the air. If you were standing on a planet or an asteroid with, with a, in a vacuum, you'd see the sun there but you look around, everything would be black. I mean, I guess you would see, be able to see stars still. Because you wouldn't have that reflection of the light, or refraction or whatever. So it's a good analogy for it. Like, so the, so the female soul is like the hard planet. And then the male soul is like the air and the light. And... Through that, the beauty can be <laughs> coming out. So, and I felt to the point where the the female and male soul, when become united, and I'm sort of doing a triangle shape. But that's kind of what came through a bit like pyramid. Thought so maybe the pyramid is even the uh, the diagram of the soul in a sense. So the the united soul, the male and female together, make make a completeness, which forms something new. 
or, or perhaps that's how we've always been when we go back, you know, after our lives, or go back into our soul state. That's perhaps, that's, perhaps that's how we've always been. But also thought that the pyramids might be some sort of tool where you'd have that arrangement and then it would do its business. But they'd have to have the they would have to be united themselves. And I'm I'm I don't want to give too many details about that just in case. It's just silly, but anyway. Why erase that from your mind? <laughs> probably not listening this long anyway. And if you're a psychiatrist, you're probably just making notes going, you go completely loopy now. <laughs> Well, you know, confusion about your identity is probably a classic case for getting a messiah complex. I don't know, you know, maybe, like maybe that messiah complex was only necessary for me. Perhaps that's all it was. Something in my learning, something I had to, to grasp to heal my soul from because that's what I felt like I was doing earlier it was a bit more soul healing and facade you know there was a, a layer of facade that I hadn't touched upon before and that was the my way bit and I might not have completely shed that probably haven't that's why I'm making a video me, 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 it's all about me. But it is when it's a personal discovery, you know? And the way we've been in the lead. You know, I was thinking also about when you do something else somebody's way. You know, I was sort of remembering as a kid when, when you finally agree to give in and, okay, I'll do what you want sort of thing. And it's... It's kind of a nice-ish sort of feeling. It's a sort of a, a certain safety about it, in a sense, thinking, well, you know, if there's a bad result from it, I can blame you, sort of thing. Because we don't like, <laughs> we do not like blaming ourselves. And my son, he does help me. You know, like, it's kind of how, what, triggered me is like this feeling against my son like is you know I was beginning in a sense being tempted to blame him and you know perhaps for how I was feeling and it was a discussion we had and I was saying to him you know <laughs> you, you, you know, I've told him before that he he's too easy to criticize other people <laughs> so I'm saying to him you know, it's very easy to criticise other people. Because he was having a go at someone. Uh, you know, I don't want to hear his moans a lot, but <laughs> it's kind of reflecting what I need to sort out with me as well. And then he just repeated it to me. Yes, it is very easy to criticise other people. Like, and I got it, you know, I understood. <laughs> But there wasn't really much I could say to that. So, you know, so that was coming back to me in meditation. and So, yeah, we, we really don't often, you know, so it had been a long time since I would taken a bit of a critical look at myself. A cleaner look, a more understanding look, more truth. I mean, more truth. And one of the things that started in this meditation was, and they're so random, aren't they, was uh, you can feel truth. I was thinking about some of my earlier videos and where this kind of all started was, you know, that just say to someone, you can feel the truth. And that can be the beginning of a, an amazing journey. And it's like, first of all, it's like, what do you mean feel? How, where? It's a long and windy 
surprising journey can feel truth. So the pain in my feet, you know, it comes up in there, and sometimes I deal with a bit, and it was there. And I've got some now. I'm not finished. But it's great to take a step. And I thought I should share it with you. So I haven't repealed like everything. But if I've been frank, let me summarise. I have used calling myself the one messiah as a kind of a bit of a buzz thing. I used it to feel special, to feel there was some purpose for me, that I was doing something useful, you know, more than useful, amazing, like massive. And there have been times when I got the feelings to corroborate that. But I can't prove it. But things have... Things are getting better, come on. I mean, they've, we've still got to sort... You know, there's going to be some... There's going to be some stuff, yeah. But anyway, so yeah. If I did anything, fine. Or it doesn't matter. I, you know, I'd got to that point anyway. So... And I may still, and I was getting some feelings of truth, just thinking, yeah, you know, it's... <laughs> because some uh, earlier, like, I did jump to conclusions of I'm not the one, I'm not the one, and then pain came back. So it was like, it was being real specific about some truths. About my physical body. My physical body is no, no it is not special. It's a bloke and a woman, and so I'm a normal bloke. <clears throat> I tried to summarise and I just... But I'm only human! Hey, hey, like, there is that load off as well. It's like, oh, you know, I haven't got to do anything, like, miraculous or... Anything like that. So that's good. Is this even still on? It is. But I think that'll do. Because my leg hurts. Actually, let's do some. Might as well. I mean, other things have been happening since I've been not making videos. <laughs> I've been, yeah, I guess, because I did start to say, didn't I, the, the analogy, the female soul's in the male soul. And then, so me, a male soul, I'm in Mother God. And Mother God is in Father God. So you can imagine this sort of picture, and it goes on, and Father God is in his mother God. So I'm sandwiched between two females in this analogy, in this mode of soul. And so Father God comes through like a, a beam. And in different ways as well, sometimes just comprehend him also around. He's, but Mother is right next to us. We're in our Mother. Always. And, um... Yeah, I've been able to, you know, so the pain comes in my legs and I'm like, so I'm not feeling the feeling. And, and quite often it's because it's a new type of feeling I haven't felt in my heart before that I know of. 
in this life anyway. And it's, they are different. But the one I was getting a week or so ago was like, little bit, little bit like you're almost fainting. So it was almost in a different sort of mode like that, an all-encompassing mode. And then, you know, I wouldn't be feeling the pain. And then earlier, it, it was a different one because I was, I was kind of expecting to feel that. And then not knowing what to feel. So, you know, when you don't know what to feel, you just got to stay calm. If you stay calm and stuff and you... You get to the point where you're thinking this pain is just pain. It's just what is it? It's just this feeling. It's just this whatever it is. You know, my leg isn't gonna break. <laughs> and and then and then you just this feeling just happens. And it's it's a new one. It's a new one. But the new one earlier was like a. I was more in a sphere. It was clearer. It was so there was just this. It's a feeling, it's, a, it's an experience. It's an experience. It's like actually being somewhere else. It's like... Oh. So, you know, because we're learning, we're growing, we're practicing. I'm loving it. We're loving it, baby. So, I wouldn't call me the son of man any more than anyone else is the son of man. So I, I, re, I, re, I, would you call it refract? <laughs> I take that back, calling myself the son of man. And I don't know about the Christ. I don't think. I mean, you don't know, do you? Prophet. I'd, I'd go as far as say that. Not that I need to, but. So maybe I'll come down a bit more, we'll see, through more meditation. But at the moment I'm staying as a prophet, right? Okay. Ciao for now. Brothers and sisters, the authority I speak with is when I've been in contact with God. And therefore I say I know these things. I know this. <clears throat> You will experience what you believe. And that's part of feeling truth as well. Okay, ciao for now.